All right, everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to go down and do some more troubleshooting. And you guys are going to see a pattern here on a lot of sensors. A lot of people are afraid when it comes to troubleshooting sensors. They just get the parts cannon out. So you're going to see a pattern, and you're going to see this over and over again, and you're going to realize that this is not so hard. Anyways, what we're going to look at today is a P0117 engine coolant temperature sensor circuit low voltage. So basically how it works is that on the LS Vortec motor, the temperature sensor is in the front of the driver's side head. It's got 5 volts coming in and a ground. And that's all there is. And of course, if it's hot or cool, there's going to be different resistance, and that's how it calculates the temperature. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the ignition on. We got our scanner out there, so if we turn the ignition on, we'll be able to read the data. So this test may be a little confusing, but my temperature sensor says 17 degrees, which is fine. However, if your scan tool said it was 280 degrees Fahrenheit or 138 degrees Celsius, then you want to go to the next step, which is disconnect the coolant temperature sensor and then observe the observation. Now, if it says less than 30 minus 30 degrees or 22 degrees Fahrenheit, then you need to replace the sensor at that point in time. But if it displays minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 30, we got to do another test, which is checking resistance in the wires. What I want to do, see if I can get my light down in there so I can hopefully uh, get the harness color. Actually, I can just pull it straight up, not a big deal. You see there's a yellow wire. Sorry. You see there's a yellow wire right there? You want to check for continuity between that yellow wire and if you got the blue and red plugs, pin number 74, which is yellow engine coolant temperature sensor signal. You want to check for continuity, make sure it's not short at the ground between your plug right here and the PCM plug. So that was another quick video. Once again, if you have other codes present, this test may not apply to you because other codes will affect the situation. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'm going to continue to try to do some of these diagnostic videos to help people stay away from the parts cannon, to help them get some theory to understand how everything works. I'll see you later.